Live at Oakland Hills and the 90th PGA Championship on the first tee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the two o'clock starting time. The referee for this group from Lakanto, Florida is PGA professional Larry Stutzel. Please welcome from Ireland, Padraig Harrington. Padraig Harrington going for back-to-back -back majors. The champion golfer of the year just three weeks ago, going back-to-back -back at the Open Championship, winning at Royal Birkdale. If he won here today and he starts this final round three back, it would be his third major title in the last six Grand Slam events. He had a spectacular finish to his third round earlier this morning. Before. Please welcome from Spain, Sergio Garcia. It's quite an interesting group here with Harrington and Garcia together. Remember them tangling last year at Carnoustie in the 2007 Open Championship. Sergio with seven top five finishes in majors, but never the grand prize. And he too starts three back. start for Sergio as well. There's just one more group of three to go. Everyone chasing this man right here. Ben Curtis from Ohio is the leader by one. The final round is underway at the PGA. began a marathon day for the last major championship of the year in golf. The stage is Oakland Hills. The prize, the PGA. With a drive down Magnolia Lane, we began with the first of the big four. Trevor Immelman joined golf's immortals with a breakthrough victory at Augusta and the Masters. Tory Pines Tiger fought through pain and a man of the people performance by Rocco Media in a most memorable U.S. Open. At Birkdale, a newly inspired Greg Norman walked with the wind at his back until Padraig Harrington found his place in Open Championship lore going back to back. Now we come to the last day at Oakland Hills, the last chance to claim championship glory this year. By sundown, who will have outlasted the best in the world on a grueling day at the PGA Championship?
CBS Sports and the Professional Golfers Association of America so proudly presents the final round of the 90th PGA Championship. You know, the PGA began all the way back in October of 1916 in Bronxville, New York, outside the city at Siwanoi. Again, an October event, and that very week, unrelated, a group of local businessmen here outside of Detroit got together and created the vision, the idea to build this championship golf course. So Oakland Hills and the PGA were in fact born the very same week, back in October 1916. The PGA coming here for a third time. With Gary Player and David Graham, the past champions of the events contested here and everyone remembered they've had six U.S. Opens here and what a decorated list you have memorialized by the first tee. There's Hogan. You see Graham. Andy North won an Open here. Gene Littler. Steve Jones plus that Ryder Cup competition is remembered as well. Right off the first tee. Yesterday, just brutal conditions, cells hovering over us. Play was called at 2.15 local time, never to resume again until early this morning. Thunderstorms, in fact, our tower here at 18 <laughs> took a rather significant hit. Thankfully, we were grounded. It's cool, it's breezy, there are showers around. We've already seen a few spritzes today. It really feels like we're in Scotland. It feels like this is the Open Championship and not the lazy days of August here in the upper Midwest. You can see it's dark and it's very, very gusty. This is Phil Mickelson now. Third shot at the par five, second hole. Jim Nance, Nick Faldo, the CBS golf team on hand. And Phil setting up here for a birdie bid. Now he starts his final round, Nick. Six off the lead, but not that many players ahead of him. Just 12 in front of him, player-wise. Now we're going to go down to the group off the first fairway. We saw Harrington and Garcia get their round started. Charlie Wee is playing with them. He shot 71 today. What a performance by Wee in his first ever major championship. Peter Costa is following this group of three. What do we have here with Harrington? Well, 116 yards, dead down breeze. Well, it is possible, Peter, to they got a couple more paces of room. If you can just get a little, that's just... Perfect. If it stays there, it can come straight at it with just a yard or two left of the flag. Well, you have to go past it, and there's a little shelf there, left or right, and there's no way the ball will stay. Tiger back in 2006 had the combo, the Open Championship and the PGA, winning at uh, Hoy Lake and then at Medina outside Chicago. You can, Peter Costas, at Oakland Hills, if you really want to get on a roll, you, you need to take advantage here early, don't you? Well, you absolutely have to. Uh, the, the first three holes of each nine uh, are the easiest. In fact, the, the last three holes of each nine are the six toughest on the golf course. So if you don't get it early, it'll get you. Charlie Wee now, 115 yards. Just a little sand wedge. He's ranked 163rd in the world. Born in Seoul, South Korea, but moved to California at about the age of 10. And he has knocked it inside of Harrington. Beautiful below the hole and a great birdie bid for Charlie Wee. All three members of this group starting play plus one and only three back. Charlie Wee with two top 10 finishes this year on the U.S. circuit. One at the Nelson, one at the John Deere Classic. And that was some opening tee shot there by Sergio, wasn't it, Nick? Yeah. Very much. They didn't, uh, I was watching their faces. Harrington and, and Garcia looked very determined, relaxed and determined. So out of these three players right now, this group, we, you never know what could happen, unfold by the end of the day. Just 82 yards left for Sergio. Great opportunity. Just a couple of paces short of the flag. One hop. Yes. And settles. Oh. Not the dramatic spin back. So each one topped the next. Garcia the closest. Sergio all in black. That's his, maybe his winning colors. He won the players all in black. Looks pretty sharp in that outfit. We're going back now to the final group standing on the first tee. First one up will be Ben Curtis, 2003. Open champion. 
was ranked 396th in the world when he shocked everyone that Ladies day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2:10 starting time. The referee for this group from Bent Tree Country Club in Dallas, Texas, is David Price. Please welcome from Stowe, Ohio, Ben Curtis. Introduced by Jim Remy, who will be the incoming president once Bryant Whitcomb's term expires just shortly after the Ryder Cup for the PGA of America. Here is Ben Curtis. And it was such a, a shock to see him win it five years ago, and still, I think, often overlooked. He could find himself the possessor of two majors by days in. championship and a player we know has big credentials but largely overlooked too you know really here in the states exactly Nick, you know? hidden behind those glasses he is really a fun guy very very quick dry sense of humor and obviously got my famous Fanny Sunison on the golf bag so uh, maybe she'd be in passing on a few of my gems maybe she's ready to win another major Watching that one cautiously. Oh, he's tugged it. He does belt it a mile, so unfortunately it goes offline. That's that looks like trouble with the size of that tree. Up on the green, Harrington now. All three have left it on the preferred side, just a gentle uphill slope. Harrington to get back to even for the championship. You know, that would have been a great mental boost. He birdied four out of four, out, four in a row, didn't he, on the back nine? Mm -hmm. Very similar to what he'd been doing at Burkdale. Great back nine. So that would have been such a moral boost, but there'd be plenty of chances. That was earlier this morning as play resumed at 7.15 in the morning. Now here's J.B. Holmes, who had the lead through two rounds. He shot 70 this morning. Included a bogey on the last hole, otherwise he would start this final round sharing it, and he too appears to be way left. And that's whizzed into the trees, isn't it? So I'm amazed that these guys, guys go with driver. Why? You know, it's a, for me, as a strategy player, that kind of hole, I would have played something down, even if you had a little nine iron in there or something. It's, but this is not the strategy of the modern golfer. They just belt it and run and find it and wedge it <laughs> close. Back at two, Nicholson for birdie. Good, in, good indication of the breeze. It is blowing out there. And Phil dead center. So plus three is five back. And let's go back down to the first green. Charlie Wee for birdie. Peter couldn't get any better than that for a guy that's untested in majors. No, he's uh, he's in uncharted territory right now. It's, it's uh, going to be interesting to see. How his nerves handle uh, the pressure, Nick. Well, he doesn't know any negatives, does he, Peter? No. <laughs> He's got no scars from past majors. He's fresh. Now, Sergio, uh, really, I think, an important putt for him. Yeah, I, we, we've, we've documented his putting problems in the past, but if he makes this, that could just speak volumes for his confidence. I, I, I agree with you totally, though, Peter. You know, he's, he showed great mental strength when he won the players, and. But this is still so important to his emotions. To create an opportunity, he needs to take this one. Seems like in all these chances, when he's positioned, positioned himself going in the final round of a major, he never gets that good start. Shaky at the beginning and then levels out. This could be some big boost, and it is for Sergio. He's in for a birdie at one. Well, this is a different Sergio now, Jim. No. He showed great mental strength to win the players, so I predict he can keep going. And that's a good-looking leaderboard, headed by Ben Curtis, who was the last player to win a major championship in his first appearance in a major. And the previous one before that, Francis, we met back in 1913. The greatest game 
ever played. The movie memorializing We Met's win in 1913. Charlie, we trying to do that today. Here we are this morning with.